Hello again, welcome to another tutorial. This one um, is uh, is another noodle pates, which is my fairly regular, I try to do it three times a week cartoon that at the moment runs on Facebook. You can find it under my name, which is Carl Dixon. I don't have a fan page, if you like, as such. Uh, but yeah, I, I could be found on that. Um, come along and join me, you're always welcome. And uh, this is another one in my series of, I mean, I could be like other cartoonist and say, well, this is how you draw a hand, and this is how you do this, and this is how you do that, this is how you draw a face, and this is how you draw a face after having been disappointed by 15,000 attempts on Tinder and not working, which may or may not have happened, but I don't know. Anyway. Um, the idea of these two, these particular tutorials, I'm not, I'm not saying that I wouldn't ever do uh, one of those tutorials on how to draw fingers and faces. It's just that I think if you if you follow a cartoonist, if you want to learn to draw cartoons, then you just sort of follow what it is that they that they do, and uh, and you learn from that. So um, you're looking over my shoulder and. Hopefully you'll pick up some tips, and then when you go ahead and draw your cartoons, uh, you'll be able to involve some of the things that I do, some of the things you'll maybe wish to discard, and you'll get a general idea. So this particular one, um, actually just thought about this morning, actually. I knew I was going to do a video. Um, I mean, ironically, I was going to do one on how to draw cartoon expressions, so it just kind of like shot myself in the foot there. But um, this joke, this gag, this gag idea just came to me and I thought, you know what, let's do a noodle paste. You learn so much more, you see I'm composing a picture here. You see how it's composed, like I've done very, very rough lines, bang, 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 here you go, rough, 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 and then I start to, to shape out what it is that I really, really want. Um, I may go quiet for a while. But like I say, I can't multitask, I'm a bloke. But this takes place in a horse yard. I won't tell you the joke because um, I think it would be better at the end. At the end of the video, I will show you the, the finished cartoon, full colour, uh, which is as it will go up on Facebook. It's a lot easier to show you rather than explain because some things get lost in translation. This may be one of them. Right. Anyway. So you realize I started. Uh, this is going to be a horse's head up there, and I realized that that was going to be getting in the way of the, the horse here. So drop him down a bit. You always make mistakes. You can always make um, amend amendments to your mistakes. See, his head would have been fine, but when his ears came up, they'd have been right in front of everything. You have to keep things fairly simple. And once again, the wall is now too close. I wanted it to be further away, so we'll just bring it down a bit over here. So there's number one. Uh, we now move into the other horse. And because Noodle Pates is a single panel, I've not necessarily um, regular daily or, or weekly characters, although it has got a few that I use from time to time. It's generally about whatever subject matter entertains me at the time which is great for you because it means you learn to, I, I show you how I draw all sorts of things including horses um, cars, cows, buildings anything like that you 
Incidentally, uh, I put one of these videos up and I, I shared it on my Facebook as normal to try and get as much coverage as possible. And uh, all the stuff that I do, someone sort of mentioned, do you bite your fingernails? I mean, no questions. I mean, sorry, sorry, get this right. I said, if you've got any questions, ask me and I will tell you. I'll just give you the answer as best I possibly can. And uh, any question I got was on, was on Facebook and it was like, you know, do I bite my fingernails? Uh, ooh, no, I don't. My mother told me never to bite them. So I hack at them with a small machete instead. I'm not too sure whether I might want to change the size of that horse's head, I don't know. Uh, I have an intensely personal relationship with my fingernails. I, I see more of them than I probably do of anyone I know. Right. Um, pretty much clear. Yeah, I think we'll go along with that. That's enough roughing. And there were balloons. Right, there you have it. That's the, the rough layout. To the pencil. Whoops, stay there, stay. Now uh, just talk amongst yourselves whilst I get the ink pot out and uh, fiddle around and get the brush and have a team talk, make sure it doesn't... Oh god, it's starting to fall apart on me. Right, the brush. I have saved it. A little bit of open brush surgery. Um, obviously, a lot of the questions occur as soon as get is what? What materials do you use? What instruments do you use? Well, uh, and they give all sorts of clever answers, like I use a Vitreon Con 12 713 fork can only be found in in uh, Madagascar, in, uh, in the hut of a fruit seller. And uh, I'm not that elite. I get mine at an art store, art shop, or maybe even online. And uh, that's it. There you go. That's my brush. No Madagascan fruit sellers were contacted during the making of this video. Or even required. Okay. Right, okay, this is next. That's it, we'll do this bit next. What's wrong with this brush or the ink? Whatever it is, but it uh, doesn't seem to be flowing very well today. I may have to sack my little Madagascan. Tell him to get me some decent brushes. Or I will thrash him! Oh, really? Don't need Madag I don't know any Madagascans. Uh, uh, you're waffling, Dixon. Carry on. Right, what else do you want to know? Um, those of you who are still here and haven't buggered off to some other channel to find someone with half a brain, good luck with that search if you're looking for a cartoonist. You notice I spent a bit more time on the actual characters, you know, whatever they be, humans or animals, one of you, because this is where the thick and thin lines of the brushwork really come into their own, like I'm doing here. 
because everything else is just straight lines so it doesn't really matter that much but the brushwork on the animals is what defines the cartoon well defines mine anyway now I'm drawing as I say with a brush I can draw with a pen I can draw with a dip pen I can draw with normal pens at the moment the fashion seems to be to uh, to illustrate your cartoons with with marker pens uh, whether they be sharpies or uh, just uh, waterproof I, I guess pen from any of your stationers we have W. H. Smiths over here get a lot of stuff from them and um, I just recently bought this try that which is Faber Castell six pens in there uh, and he got it because it was 25 percent off I see 25 percent off and I get ever so excited and I tend to purchase it which could probably explain my rather large shoe collection none of which I wear okay we're getting nearer to the end of the first horsey now I won't do the the mane or the hair the small details because this is where I do work with other medium within the same cartoon strip. The main lines will always be drawn with a brush. Uh, the fine lines are drawn with, at the moment, those Faber Castells, but you can use anything you want. As long as it's a good thin, thin line, it, it contrasts nicely between the thicker lines of the brushwork. So anywhere where you want to contrast, like the hair, or the bricks, stonework, or maybe even the slats in the wooden door. These are all good ways of really getting a contrast. Another way, and I'll do the example here, I'll get the, the, the word balloon out of the way, first of all. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean afterwards. Always assuming I can remember because I am 953, very, very old, and prone to my mind wandering. I'm not really 903. Okay, right, that's the word balloon out of the way. Now I'm gonna work on this little bucket here, and I'm gonna, probably wouldn't do this normally, but I'm gonna do it now just to, just to prove a point. I'll just do the outer edges of the paint bucket, uh, sorry, water bucket, in fairly thick lines. Now we'll leave that for now because I'm not going to do anything else because I need to get the rest of the cartoon finished otherwise the paint will dry in the brush and I won't be able to use it properly and it'll start to splay and I'll have to go and get another one and, and Madagascar's an awful long way just to go for a paintbrush. Even if a bit Pepe and his lovely family they're very welcoming and I do stay there for a while and uh, got a good got a good relationship with their yaks and uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about now I don't even know whether they're in the same country anymore do they have yaks in Madagascar? No, I don't know. look that one up google it and whilst you're at it google idiots you should find a picture of me next to the word Horsey number two almost complete. Now this one here is in the foreground, so the lines are going to be thicker again. It's only a minor thing, but something worth noting that when you come and draw your cartoons, it's those little hidden things that give the cartoon depth. But you don't necessarily notice it. You're being deceived, shall we say. But in a good way. And this will also apply for the wall here. Which hopefully so I'll load the brush up with a lot more. Right. 
Bum, 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 bum. Right, lovely. I think we're almost done on that. There's a few pebbles here. I like to do a contrast between some of the pebbles. So some will be very, very big. Some not so big, right, I think. I'm going to call that one done uh, for this stage. Now go away. I'm going to pause you for a while. And then when I come back, oh no, I'm going to Contrast again. What about contrast with thick and thin lines? Here we have the door. So uh, we'll give it a bit of a an in-between brush. So it's not quite as thick as the rest of it. But it's thicker than the thinner lines that are going on, if we say so. It'd be a contrast. Right, so now I'm going to go away and wash my brush. A good little person. And when I come back, uh, which will seem seamless, because I'm putting you on pause, uh, we'll finish with the cartoon off. We'll go straight to the bucket so I can show you what I meant. Speak to you in a minute. Right, hello again. Um, right, back to, to the bucket, as I said. Uh, we just do the contrast of the thick lines with the thin lines. Could make it look good. This is the Faber Castell uh, SX Pit Artist Pen. Oh, I never saw all that. Let's have a read of this now, shall we? Kleins Thickable Thuk Vosvetik. Oh, no, that's a different language. Engine ink, waterproof, maximum, maximum light fastness. There you go. For those of you who know what the hell that means, uh, you've just been technicalized. Right, so here we go. Uh, finish the rest of it off. So we'll start with this little bit here. Have it. Difference between the thick and the thin lines. Hopefully it shows up um, on the YouTube. Here we go with the slats. Um, probably a black line underneath there, so I'll have that for later. May actually do some solid. Whereas in the olden days, cartoonists used to um, put the black solids in the cartoons as they were, and many probably still do. In this day and age of uh, Photoshop, because you don't need to, you save yourself a lot of ink if you just, I'll do that, and then when it goes into Photoshop, I'll put the black in there. It just makes your pens last a bit longer. And uh, fewer trips to Madagascar are always good for everyone. Mm -hmm. There's the roof. And put a few bricks in here. Even though I'm not following the lines exactly of the bricks that I drew, they were just there to give me an idea of, of layouts. There are cobbles. Actually, I don't even know whether. Oh God, I might have dropped the page there. You didn't see that, did you? Ha! <laughs> Sleight of hand. Sorry about that. It's one of my big, big habits, and I must, must break it is I don't pay attention to what you're seeing. And sometimes I'm drawing amazing stuff. I'm going, oh, there's this great stuff going on. You know, it's just down there somewhere. Oh, it's fantastic. And I bring it back up. You think, what did he do? What did he do? And uh, I'm sorry. Don't go writing those sort of comments. But any comments you want to ask, anything about cartooning and the art of it, or, or me, I don't mind, I'll answer questions about me, I'm not too personal. Uh, just put them in the comments section, and I'll do my very best to answer anything. Uh, as always, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get these ramblings sent straight into your email box. You haven't got to wait or uh, avoid me. 
So please do become a follower. That's very lovely talking to yourself. In the olden days, people used to get put into homes for it. Nowadays, they get their own YouTube channel. I don't know whether that says more about society or what. All right, so we're getting close to the end of the cartoon and this little tutorial. Like I say, any questions, put them down at the bottom. Down, down there somewhere, or there, or maybe even over here. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, somewhere down there. And I will answer them. And subscribe to my channel. Subscribe like a crazy subscribing person. And if you see, if this isn't your cup of tea, but you know someone who likes cartoons, wants to become a cartoonist, wants to learn more about cartoons, because you never stop learning, point them in my direction. I will be eternally grateful. And, uh, yeah, I'll send you a picture of my yak. Me, me and my yak. Oh, the most important thing, of course, is got to sign it. Oh, it's just too thin for the signings, isn't it? I'll show you something else. Just find a, a slightly bigger one. There we go. There we go. Children and grown-ups, ladies and gentlemen, and anyone in between, oh, I missed out. There's today's Noodle Plates cartoon. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my ramblings and wafflings. And I hope you'll enjoy the cartoon once you've read it at the very end. Keep coming back. It'll be great to see you. Bye for now.